Have you ever wondered what happens in doggy dreams? Where they go, what they do, who they meet, <laughs> and why they twitch and whimper when their eyes are closed? Well, let's find out. Because right now, a very cute little moshling dog called McNulty is snuggling in her cozy basket about to oh, drift into a dreamy world of woofs and waggy tails. So make yourself comfy, close your eyes, and relax. McNulty is a moshling. A pooch who loves to dream of trips to doggy wonderlands and all that's in between. She shuts her eyes and pictures places while she gently snoozes, imagining, well, anything. It's her dream, so she chooses. Right now, she's in her doggy basket, drifting off to sleep. hoping that her dreams will take her somewhere quite unique. McNulty tries to think of things she genuinely adores. So she steers her thoughts to belly rubs then snuggles down and snores. As McNulty falls into a dream, her thoughts begin to blur, and she feels a warm breeze ruffling her short but silky fur. For now, she's scampering down a street that's filled with doggy things. From rubber toys that make a noise to knitted bones on strings.
McNulty loves this possum place. It's crammed with furry friends. And looking round, she hopes this dream she's having never ends. Poodles play with bulldogs, while huskies sniff street lamps. And cute chihuahuas chase their tails. As pugs play puggish pranks. The buildings here are shaped like bones. And all the dogs are chilled. As dreams go, this is wonderful. McNulty's truly thrilled. The streets are paved with doggy biscuits. Dog treats hang from walls. And hedges have been trimmed to look like chewed up tennis balls. McNulty sees her old pal Rex, a big golden retriever, and tells him this is her dream. But Rex does not believe her. I always come here in my dreams. This place is just the best, says Rex before he adds. In this dream, you, dear, are my guest. Dream. McNulty now sees other dogs and pups she recognizes. Boxers, labs, and beagles of various shapes and sizes. Why are they in my dream? She wonders as she walks. But then a wise old sheepdog approaches her and talks. All doggy dreams are different. But one thing we all share is a love of hanging out with friends. It doesn't matter where. That's why when we go out for walks or play games in the park, we always chase the other dogs. give a friendly bark. McNulty nods and wags her tail. I guess that must be true. 
So let's make sure this dream's the best. And form a doggy crew. She woofs to all the nearby dogs. Let's dream this dream together. Cause if we share it as we sleep, it'll be the best one ever. Dream. McNulty and her doggy pals are frolicking around, fetching sticks, snuffling leaves, and rolling on the ground. But remembering they're in a dream, The doggies now decide that they can do, well, anything, and so much more besides. McNulty thinks of skateboards, and poof, one just appears. Then the beagle wishes he could fly by flapping his huge ears. Rex the big retriever dreams of swimming in a lake that's filled with giant squishy bones and squeaky rubber stakes. As McNulty skateboards through the streets, she looks above and sees her beagle buddy flapping through the sky above the trees. Now she sees a big dog doing backstroke in a lake as rubbery toys of every kind swirl round in his wake. Things are quite bizarre now. In McNulty's doggy dream. Flying beagles, toy filled lakes. It's such a madcap scene. 
But now McNulty realizes this dream can be amped up. So decides to ride her skateboard like a fearless little pup. She hurdles down a giant slope, then up a hill at speed, and takes off towards the stars above. A space-bound dog indeed. She plays a fiddle on her skateboard. Orbiting the moon, then leaps into a basket beneath a big balloon. McNulty now drifts through some clouds, all shaped like doggy noses. They even feel quite cold and wet. Hmm, lifelike, she supposes. Snuggling in the basket now. McNulty thinks, how nice. It is to be relaxing in this doggy paradise. Meanwhile, in the real world, McNulty's fast asleep, and aside from snorts and whimpers, she doesn't make a peep. But back within her dream, She's still ballooning through the sky as woofs and yaps below create a doggy lullaby. She snuggles in her basket, well aware that she is dreaming and wonders if tonight's adventure has a deeper meaning. McNulty thinks the message is that doggy dreams are fun and they're really quite magnificent when shared with everyone. This evening's dream's been better than McNulty could have planned. And the balloon that's keeping her aloft now brings her into land. She looks around and sees her pals still doing crazy stuff and falls into a 
deeper sleep. Good night, or as dogs say, rough dreams.
dream.